the Tim Forster Maiden Hurdle is next. This is race two, week one of the new season. It's a three mile Maiden Hurdle this time. And I've got Archer's Reign for Paul Parsons, Benny Hill for David Robertson, Castle Sweeps John Morgan, Darsage Strange for James Shea, Phil the Fear Craig Beckwith, France for Matt Cooper, Jimmy Hatt. Alex Cherry, Sudden Excuse, Darren Thompson, Casa Grande Smiles for Vinnie Gerard, and Twilight Wolf for Leon Van Rensburg. Just 10 in this one then. Three more hurdle, and away they go. Heading towards the first of the flights that we're going to negotiate in this one. The rain coming down. They've got 12 to get over this time. And Benny Hill is just about in the lead, and anybody of my sort of age who's now seeing a horse called Benny Hill in the lead can hear that Benny Hill music with it all chasing each other down the pavement through fields and stuff. If you don't know what I'm on about, you can have a look at it on YouTube. There's Benny Hill in the lead. From Castle, well, from Castle Sweeps in second. Then comes Darcy's Strangers in third. They're racing downhill towards the first of the 12, which they're all safely to the other side of. Darcy Strange and Benny Hill. James Shea's back after a season off, I think. Archer's Reign is in third. That's Paul Parsons' first jumper, I think. And they get over the second. And it's Darcy Strange who's got the lead. From Benny Hill down his near side second. The grey Jimmy Hatz for Alex Cherry is in third place. And towards the back. Twilight Roof is the back marker for Leon Van Rensburg, who took the season opener. A little while ago, but Benny Hill and Darcy Strange passed the stand with two complete circuits of the track ahead of them. And Benny Hill just about back in front again. From Darcy Strange. And then Jimmy Hatz is third. There's a line of about six or seven of them together. And the gap then back to France and Twilight Wolf, who's just the back marker, but an awful long way to go. And Benny Hill continuing to lead. Darcy Strain second, the grey Jimmy Hatz. Just a back show in third. And it's near side the green of Casa Grande Smiles for Vinnie Gerard, who's got a full jumps team this year, same as John Morgan, so it's going to really shake up the top of the tree, I think, as they get over to third. John Morgan always does well on Vinnie Gerard when he came in midway last season, started to wrap the winners up. Benny Hill who leads over the fourth from Sudden Excuse on the outside second. Then Jimmy Hatz the Great. He's hard held in third. Then comes Casa Grande Smalls and Archer's Reign. We get Darcy Strange just behind them. Having dropped back a little bit. Good jump on the outside there by Feel the Fire. So that one jump past Castle Sweeps. And France and Twilight Wolf on the back pair. They've still got a long way to go. With Benny Hill leading by a a length. Length and a quarter, length and a half now. Maybe even two. Wrong. Sudden excuse in second. Archer's rain is on the outside of that one. Between the two, the two in the green. Darcy Strange and Casa Grande smiles in a slightly lighter shade. The great Jimmy Hatz has just lost his place and has dropped back a little bit. The main body of the field is pretty well bunched, but the leader, Benny Hill, over the sixth with a clear lead of three to four lengths now. Archer's rain. And Sudden Excuse are next, and then Casa Grande Smalls and Dacid Strange. Feel the fear in his getting ever closer. As Twilight Wolf also now starts to weave its way through the pack as they race down the straight again. On the second of three times, they've got one more complete circuit after they go past the stand. And Benny Hill is in the lead, and we'll be hoping to be in the lead next time round as well. Leads by a good two lengths to Sudden Excuse in second. Feel the Fear is the one who's been travelling nicely throughout the race in third. Now moved up into second. Casa Grande Smiles is fourth. Then Twilight Wolf, who's now getting ominously closer. Darcy Strange is next. Then Castle Sweeps. Jimmy Hatz on the outside. Archer's Reign has dropped away. Francis further back still. It's a race towards flight number eight. And Benny Hill is in the lead. Feel the Fire is now. Been just pushed along a little bit in second. Sudden excuses third. Over the eighth they go. And we'll see from there. It looks like the last two 
Archer's right in front have dropped right out of it, but it's Benny Hill who continues to lead. Film of Fear is in second. Sudden excuse on this near side is third. Twilight Wolf getting much closer as they get over the ninth. Just three more flights to take now, and Benny Hill's in front. Feel the fear though. He's just three quarters of a length down in second. Then comes Twilight Wolf in third, and sudden excuse Casa Grande smiles his next over to third. Last they go. Looks like it might well be between that leading five. Although Darcy Strange is trying to run on, but Benny Hill now has kicked on again, and Benny Hill's too clear from Feel the Fear, and now comes under a bit of pressure. Sudden excuse being asked to quicken. Twilight Wolf is next. Then Darcy Strange also trying to run on there. Castle sweeps coming through from the back as Casa Grande smiles drops tamely away. But it's Benny Hill who sweeps towards home then. Two more flights to take. And Benny Hill's led all the way so far. Benny Hill is leading them a merry dance. He's three lengths clear from Feel the Fear in second. Twilight Wolf has now switched to the outside and he's trying to throw down a challenge. Darcy Strange is trying to get into it over the second last they go. Benny Hill's in front. Sudden excuse is second. Then Twilight Wolf Castle sweeps on the outside. They race down towards the final flight. And it's Benny Hill who's still in front. Benny Hill lands in the lead. He gets away from the world's a furlong to go. And it's Benny Hill in front. Twilight Wolf is trying to close. So is sudden excuse. The jockey has a little look round. Benny Hill still in the lead, but he's beginning to tie up. Here comes Twilight Wolf on the outside. Benny Hill's holding on. Here comes Twilight Wolf. Twilight Wolf is beginning to get up. And Twilight Wolf is going to get up and take it just. Twilight Wolf, I think, has stolen it on the line from Benny Hill, who was too busy looking round. The jockey should have just kept up to his work. The angle's deceptive. He may have held on, but no, I don't think he has. It's Twilight Wolf. It's a season starting 1-2 for Leon Van Rensburg. As Twilight Wolf takes the three-mile maiden. Twilight Wolf, the winner for Leon Van Rensburg. Benny Hill second for David Robertson. Sudden excuse, Darren Thompson third. Darcy Strange for James Shea was fourth. And Castle Sweeps for John Morgan was fifth. So two races into the season and Leon's won them both. But we haven't seen a Josh horse yet.